is a beautiful thing about having to wake up at 4.30 or 5 a.m. in the mornings to see the sunrise and get all my chores done before my babies wake up. So gorgeous. I'm using our new milking machine that I just purchased. It was decently cheap. Um, the one we had before had like a continuous suck on it and I know it wasn't very good for them and we also had it, it was falling apart on us because I just bought basically the cheapest one I could find at the moment. So this one was recommended to me by actually a goat milking group and a goat group that I'm on on Facebook. And I went ahead and decided to test it out. So it's got a natural sucking motion. You can see how it's working. And then the settings on it are a little weird. So like this little knob turns it down a little less pressure and or up. So it's pretty simple. It's got a lot of noise to the little machine, but it's not too bad. So we'll be testing it out for a little while here. And if you guys want to know where it came from and the link to it, I can shoot that to you guys. Otherwise, I'm not advertising for um, the place that sells it. So we are testing it out, hoping it works out on our girls, hoping this makes smoking just a little bit easier and hopefully works. I know a lot of people have issues finding a good, decent machine, so... We are trying it out, and we'll see how it goes, and I'll let you guys know. I figured while I was out and about for the morning, I would show you guys. We did get Chip Drop, which is a mulch drop-off um, that you don't have to pay for, but if you pay a fee, it will deliver. So we were on there for a year not paying the arborist fee, and then I decided even $20 would be worth it, so I paid their $20 arborist fee, and we got a whole chip dump truckload of chips for not only our coop which we're filling up right now our, our run but also for our garden area which we're going to do some pathways in and we'll put down some fabric before we do that but that's what we have going on with the mulch we're going to be throwing it inside the chicken run and taking it down to the garden the other thing we have working on right now is that back hay extension slash um, tractor barn we actually have to get tin up on that and we're supposed to get tin hopefully coming this week and we'll start throwing it up on that. You guys can see our bunny hutch is in such a tattered and it's so ruined right now. We actually are going to be getting rid of the two bunnies we have. They're just for fertilizer right now. They're too old to breed. So we'll be getting rid of these guys here soon and we'll be replacing them with some new rabbits. I really have a certain breed of rabbit that I would like to do but they're really hard to find near us, so I'd like to do the chinchilla rabbit. I believe that's what they are, American chinchilla. But they're re really, really hard to find near us. So it's going to be a little while before we actually get into doing that. We'll have to rebuild this bunny hutch, get rid of these two, and restart and find our American chinchilla rabbit. So anyway, that's, that's what's going on with the rabbits. But right now we're getting tin up on our hay extension back there. We're getting the mulch all dumped and prepared. I'm trying to think of other things we're doing because there's been a bunch lately, but the garden for this year, I'm letting it go and we'll be restarting over. We'll be kind of prepping it this fall for spring and then hopefully we'll have a better spring, summer, all that next year. So lots of things. Getting my milk inside, gonna go get it filtered out put in the fridge. My zinnias are still doing good. So that's always nice to have fresh cut flowers on my counter. I gotta fill up my hummingbird feeder. But anyway, I'm take my milk in, sort it. I've been working on a lot of sourdough. So I bought a microwave cart for our house. Or I bought a microwave and it came with a cart. And now this cart has turned into mostly my dairy cabinet. So I'll keep like glass jars. That's our old dairy pump or old goat milker and the seal on it was breaking so I actually had to stick like two knives inside of here just to keep this seal around it all sealed up while it was pumping the girls. I'm gonna keep that on hand because it's not electric so I can use it whenever we don't have electricity otherwise I just have like my sourdough scale in here. These are our milk filters. I've been keeping flour in there, the water wipes I was using to clean the girls teats before I milked them and then Usually, so this is the first day milking with this milker, and usually I'll get about a quart. Right now I'm using a jam um, filter thing, and then on top of that I use also my milk filters. 
so I'm trying to do this here and show you guys but I'm gonna see how much I get out of here and if it's just a quart or if I get a whole bunch more using this kind of a pump nope, about a quart so yeah this is the norm for me is getting about a quart and so I freeze this every day so that's fine I mean I'm I guess I'm emptying the girls just as good as this empties the girls, which is good enough for me. So we have a quart. I have been freezing my milk lately. I'm trying to freeze it so that in the off months we have milk. What I've been doing is I bought these little lids so that um, the metal ones kind of won't get all like rusted and that ring around it. But anyway, I put these lids on. I have little labels for my milk so that I use number one first. And then I have them go all the way up to like, hopefully I'm going to store about 90 quarts. My freezer is just full, loaded full of milk. I have some goat's milk on the side and some bags here that I'll be using for soaps and stuff. And I know I should have cubed it up. This is the first time, first year for doing this. But we are going ahead and storing all of our milk. You see our milk here. We actually have some cow's milk. We've been getting raw cow's milk from people too. And so I just label them with like a little cow sticker that I have on hand. And then they're their number stickers otherwise the cow's milk has been getting us heavy whipping cream and then I've had a lot of sourdough stuff going on so I've been making a lot of sourdough loaves I have a really good sourdough chocolate sourdough discard um, pancake recipe really fluffy really yummy that I'll share with you guys soon too I let Wolf and our goats out in the yard this morning after I had milked the goats. And I'm hoping they just weed what I want them to weed and less of what I don't want them to weed. There's papaya. We'll see how that goes. There's that big wolf. Can you sit? Wolf? Can you sit? He's got all these cats this morning. He seemed like he's good with all of our animals. He's not usually out with the cats running out and about every day with them, but I don't know. He's never seemed to be an issue with them. Still chewing yourself, dude. He has a flea allergy, so I had some flea stuff on him to prevent the flea allergy from getting to him too bad. And it's been better, hasn't it? It's been better. He's a good boy, though. Use, use. He does his job. He protects those girls. Good boy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what my morning routine looks like with my little ones and homesteading. Kind of what I just get done every day and then sometimes more, sometimes less, and it all just depends on the littles. So, but thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for all your support.